Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. This wants to be a very short tutorial to use with a few clicks the wonderful and promising uh, auto horto project to have auto scenery streamed in X-Plane just the way Micros Fly Simulator does but less complicated. I will go straight to the point as I don't want to waste your time. So first of all navigate to this site kubilus one github io slash auto auto and there is a quick tutorial for the um, Unix system setup and Windows system. We, we go straight to the Windows systems. And those assumptions are to be met. You are running 74-bit uh, Windows 10 or a better so also Windows 11 you have explain 11.50 or better and uh, I'm using currently with the uh, explain 12 you have this uh, library installed it's named Dokkan you can find by clicking on this link and select x64 MSI it's an installer uh, very straightforward we do it so very quickly click here choose to maintain the file because Windows may detect some uh, potential viruses but it's all clean open this zip and just pick this auto auto exe files to pick put it somewhere I've put it in my utils folder run it and a user interface will pop up the setup page explain scenery folder choose yours image cache directory um, you will be provided with um, the same uh, operating system disk but I suggest to uh, select another disk I've selected my external uh, D drive this cache will be very big so ensure you have uh, enough space to put it in this is um, to override the um, picture provider the default provider is Bing but you can choose to have also those one if you want to override that default I've left uh, Bing then go to the scenery tab and here at least you have to choose one package I've downloaded the Europe set but also the other ones are available North America South America Africa Asia and Australia so install this it will take approximately 10 minutes depending on your internet connection and once it finished don't run the application but first of all run explain the first time it is because we have to modify our scenery packs.ini file so here the first time you run explain after the program has downloaded the scenery package it will create those lines and it will put at the beginning of the file once you run explain so what to do copy cut those lines and put them on the very end of the file all those lines have to be at the bottom of the file let alone this Zvobo scenery which have to be the very last line so save this and close after this step we can go to the auto setup page and we can hit run let Windows Defender firewall allow access so first step run the program second step run explain new flight remember to choose an airport 
belonging to the package you have downloaded else it won't work so I've got Europe so I will go to a new airport example Bergen in uh, Norway and I pick the Cessna and start a flight I've never been to this airport before in X-Plane and the first time the area is downloaded it will take longer than the subsequent times so only the first time is a bit longer it's important that you keep the cache um, as it is so don't rush in deleting the cache because maybe you need some hard disk space just keep the files uh, where they are because they will be very useful and the next in the subsequent loadings and the cache will speed up the process overall how does the program work it simply uh, converts on the fly auto imagery pictures into the format that is required from explain to use them the same thing that auto for xp does in a static way but it just does it on the fly in this way it takes less space on the hard disk okay so this is the result never been here before by having the auto scenery ready okay there is some problems with the yeah uh, with the elevations but this is uh, being worked on by the developer and but uh, the overall results is having the auto scenery wherever you are going on the fly there is also an optimization because as long as you fly in high it will need to download only low zoom levels then as long as you descend to the airport it will need to download higher zoom levels and it will tune up and down according to the elevation you are at so you don't need to download tons of data but only the needed data to have a decent result for the view without impacting performance too much so that's it guys try to follow the different steps they are very simple they are very few please put in the comments below if you succeeded at doing all the process see you next time bye bye